6.2 Okay, 6.2 came out a long time ago I give you enough time so this video doesn't spoil anything uh, I was just lazy They had to nerf a raid because the playtesters are better than the players no. Like, what? They also released this emote And I swear, it's, it's a plot to get me banned Pandemonium Abyssos Oh, this boss is pretty cool uh oh, oh. <laughs> I love the story for 6.2, and I like the direction it's taken. I find the story for 6.2 better than the whole story of Endwalker. And, oh my god, Zero, hi! God damn! And you know, new patch means new gear! The gear you get is really cool, because they're the first pieces to glow. Not really, we got the Eureka gear, but we don't talk about it. The new raids are Pandemonium Abyssus. 5 through 8. In 6.1, we had Pandemonium Asphodelos, 1 through 4, or for short, they're P1 through 8. The new bosses are awesome, except you, and the music is awesome. I couldn't really explain the main point of Pandemonium, so I'll just let these guys explain it. It's all about the Habreus son and the lie his dad told him about his mother. Huh? You could be boring and get the crafted gear, which is the same item level, or you get the normal gear by getting these funky pieces each week that you have to trade in if you have enough pieces. For example, the helmet is 2, chestplate is 4, etc etc. And the weapon is 7, so that means 7 weeks of doing P8. And getting the gear isn't easy if your internet is sometimes like mine. But of course, the dome gear is better. We have new tomes. And they're green. Ooh. Also the scythe you get from Savage is really cool. And I'm gonna get that. You know what they say. New video, new outfit. <laughs> and now, for the main point of the patch. Island Sanctuary. I've been waiting for Island Sanctuaries ever since they were announced. And I was emotionally distraught when I heard they were pushed back to 6.2. And then there were rumors of it getting pushed back to 6.25. But then... <laughs> then they were actually in 6.2. Yay! To unlock the island sanctuary, you do this funny little blue quest. Oh god. In Old Charleian. Island Sanctuary is really casual, and it's not meant to be grinded out in a day. It's so casual that there are threads of how to turn off the camera movement, because people get motion sickness. <laughs> yes, this camera movement. To be honest, at one point I forgot I'm not playing Minecraft and wanted to go home to sleep out the night. Okay now, most importantly, you get mounts from Island Sanctuaries. Three of them you can buy for 12,000 seafarer calories each. And one you get from getting level 10. This sick ass motorcycle, okay, like, brrr, like what the fuck am I doing? Each time you level up, you get access to new tools and resources. You earn seafarer calories by completing visions, aka quests. Do the weekly challenge logs and build items in the workshop. But we'll get to that later. You can't fly on the island yet. But the mount speed is insane. The visions teach you how to do stuff, but no one reads, so together you enable this funky little gathering mode. Craft your first item, complete the quest, and this guy says, well, I'm not sure what he says. <laughs> if it ain't voiced, I don't care. And you get to build your cozy cabin. At least I hope it's cozy, because I haven't done it yet. But let's mount up and Whee! tell the little worker guys to clear up some more land so you can have animals. Just look how happy they are. I'm over here stroking my and that's when you get this funny little capture mode. You need bigger nets for bigger animals and for bigger nets you need bigger level. I found that the further you are from the animal, the higher chance you have of catching it. Although, I'm not sure if it's true. Get two more modes, pet and beckon. I'd like to hit the sick combo of beckon and then pet. Petting doesn't do anything. And by now, you should have all the modes. You can capture rare animals during certain weather conditions and time. The Constructions The workshop is the main way of earning seafarer calories. If the items are in the same category, they make double of them. But you can't make the same item twice in a row. So I plunked down three workshops. You can also upgrade them. I'm not sure what it does, but it looks way cooler. You also get a lot of XP from upgrading, so do that. The workshop has demands for certain items, etc. You can schedule the items after the spreadsheet. With the granary, you can get items you can't obtain any other way. You get the items every day at the same time. You get tired of always running out of materials and having to screenshot what I need. So I did some mining off camera. Also show you where to get the materials since I just couldn't find some and had to google them. 
I also forgot that you can swim underwater in this game and found some resources kind of late. Guys, guys, hello? The conclusion. The rank bar wasn't something I had to fill up, rather, it was something that I wanted to fill up, which is why I love this game. You could never unlock the island sanctuary and it wouldn't affect your gameplay, unlike another game, which I'll hopefully talk about one day. Since the start, I've been wondering what's at the top of the mountain, but for that you have to reach rank 10 to fly. But finally, I reached rank 10. I didn't get any rewards from it, except this title. I flew to the top of the mountain, and it's just an infinite farming area. That's cool, I guess. And finally, the motorcycle. <laughs> oh no. Hey, I can't do it anymore. I never asked you this question. <laughs> Why was the ending of your last video so fucking depressing? <laughs> <laughs> Hit 